Uh, and the other part is casein. That's what you have a lot in cheese. Um, and the whey protein is actually a byproduct of cheese production. And that's the reason why the industry wants you to buy whey protein because it's actually rubbish and they have to find a way to make money out of it. That was the initial, um, um, the initial reason why they started to look for ways to, uh, to market that. Um, I'm not saying that it, 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 it isn't suitable to, uh, to give your body protein. That's, that's not the thing. It, it works, but it does a lot of bad to the body too. So um, the casein here is the problem that, uh, when it comes to the addiction because when it gets uh, digested, um, you get a byproduct called casomorphine. And casomorphine is an exorphine, and exorphine is pretty much the same thing as an endorphine, and I think a lot of you will know what an endorphine is. That's something in your body, the body produces itself. Um, it's um, making you just feel good, and your body produces it in times where you need to uh, do well uh, and, and perform well uh, to survive. For instance, when you're in big pain, and then at a certain point you don't feel the pain anymore, that's endorphins. They get into your blood and they get in mainly into your brain and so what they do is they stop pain, make you feel good and put you in a, in a state of happiness. That's what endorphins do. And exorphines do the same thing, they just come from the outside. And biologically, it, um, it makes a lot of sense for that process to happen because what it does is, is it makes the baby cow happy when it goes and has the milk of its mom. So it helps uh, having having a bonding process between the cow and its baby. Um, what happens when we humans have the mother milk of a cow is that we have the same bonding process for products. And that's important because, so a lot of you are vegan, so I, um, I think you, you will probably um, have that experience uh, a lot where you are speaking to people and you explain them uh, how great veganism is for the environment, for uh, their, their own health, for uh, the animals, and you tell them all these reasons why you're doing it. And then at the end of the discussion they're like, wow, I can't really understand your point now, but I have to tell you something. It's great. I, I think it's great what you do, but I couldn't do that. That's something you, you will hear a lot. And in a lot of cases, it's not so much that they say, I couldn't do that because I have to have my steak. They say, I couldn't do that, or I have tried it, but I need cheese. That's something you hear a lot, and that's, that's the addiction. So the good news is, it just goes away after, after a few weeks when you do it right, when you really cut uh, the, the drug out 100%. Uh, you can have meet uh, once in a while without being addicted because that's not really addictive um, but you can't have cheese once in a while because then the addiction just comes back 